Hey everybody, welcome back to another excited limited edition games video where I like to take a look at a small run of an indie game, usually for the Nintendo Switch, and today we are here for a game from Limited Run Games, one of the best short run sellers out there in existence, and I'm excited to see what we got. Long story short, I was sitting down to play um, what game should be coming out this week, and turns out it's for it's not what I thought it was for and it's for a system I didn't actually have so I have to now shoot this unboxing and then go play this game <laughs> whoopsie anyways if you want to check out limited run games I have a link in the description below and about every Friday they're putting something out I'm kind of losing track they're putting out so much cool stuff these days and it's not quite as much of a limited run as it once was they are limited but they do them as open orders now typically although sometimes collector's editions and things that are not switch are not that way but every Friday they're putting out something at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. They usually kind of split up their batches. Although, again, uh, as long as, as far as the Switch games go, that's typically not as important as it once was. But it's pretty awesome that they give you both those windows when something is actual limited numbers. Now, uh, that all said and done, we're going to get in here. We're going to see what we got. We're going to take a look at the goodies. We're going to stop and play the game. Uh, I'm sorry. There's my, I, I had chicken wings for dinner, so you sorry about my nails. Again, this is all impromptu. Uh, we're just jumping in there. I really need to cut these nails anyways. I'm having a day of technical difficulties, <laughs> and I just want to be done. So let's get in here. Let's see what game we got. We'll look at everything and figure it out from there. Uh, we should have a collector's card in here, too. It does feel like it's going to be under the box. It could be silver foil or gold foil. And um, today... Okay, we has Brigadine, the legend of something. So it is a Nintendo Switch game. So at least I know I'll be able to play that. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. I'm not sure, was it numbered? Is this in the numbered series or is this a distribute? Distri no, it's a numbered series, okay. And we got us a card. And of course on the back, it has the limited run logo, although that's the fancier retro style. And it is silver foil. Holographic foil though, so that's pretty cool. And I don't think there's anything else in here. I don't think we have a newsletter in this one. We do not. So we're going to throw that all to the side. And then we'll take a look at this beautiful game. That art is a little bit busy. It's a little bit busy. <laughs> we'll take a look with the plastic on. We'll take a look with the plastic off. This is Limited Run Games number 71. Oh, oh, that is heartbreaking. Because, you know, it's collector edition. You know what I'm saying? And look at that. Just dented in like crazy. That sucks. Oh, well. My Scott Pilgrim stuff better not be like this when that eventually shows up. <laughs> Anyways, it's late, so let's get in here and let's see what we've got. All right, plastic is off. It's very shiny. Lots of detail, lots of interesting stuff going on. Run Runergia, Runergia, Runergia? I don't know, I just kind of let them curate these games for me, essentially. Because, I don't know, there's so many dang indie games. Oh, this is going to be like a tactics, a strategy. Oh, God, this is one of those games. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I won't. We will shortly. We'll find out shortly. <laughs> and even though my box is already ruined, look at that. That's horrifying. Um, we're going to still try to carefully get this out without bending flaps any further than they're already bent. Got the nice little pull tab to slide all this stuff out. Nothing else in the box there. So I can close that up for the moment. And of course we have, oh, we got a pin. So that's nice. I like that. Nice wolf head, man. Nice colors. Uh, double back so it doesn't spin on you. That's good. We have a bunch of stuff. All right, so there's a pin. Nothing else down in there. There's a soundtrack and a poster. So not a ton of stuff actually, but some stuff. Let's take a look at this poster. Let me unfold it. It is double-sided. And I will show this to you as best I can in my uh, tight quarters, but honestly, you know, the posters, I'm just not, just not huge on the posters. But I get why they put them in there, and that's fine. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying it's not my taste. But I know just because it's not my taste doesn't make it bad. That's how the world works. We all get to like different things differently. <laughs> Keeps things interesting. So this looks to be a bit more like the actual cover art here. So it makes me wonder if we are going to have a reversible cover on the game itself. All right, there is your poster. Ah. Ah. Never wants to fold right. Never wants to fold right. There's always one fold that wants to be a problem. All right, we'll look at the soundtrack after the unboxing, but first let's take a look at the actual game. I do believe there's going to be a manual in here. If not, there might be a manual in space. <laughs> I made that joke again. I'm sure I've made that joke before in some of these videos. Some of you older folk would know. Some of you folk in my my age and up would know what I'm referring to. Uh, <laughs> and if you're very young, 
Don't Google it. <laughs> All right, so now you can see it without the plastic on, a little less reflective, so you get a little bit better sense of the colors and stuff. And again, I've said it's number 71. And uh, yeah, will that focus? I'm a little too close to the lens, okay. And it is not quite a reversible, I mean, you could totally reverse that, but it's not really reversible cover art, which is kind of a bummer, but that's how that rolls. And there is the cartridge, for those of you that like to see that. And let's take a look through the instruction booklet. This is a thick boy too, so this may take a second, but I will try to go slow enough where you can pause on any given page if you wanna actually read and take a closer look at any of this information. So far it's more of a character guide than an instruction book. Lots of characters, lots of detailed information. Clearly we've got some factions going on here. Getting a bit of a D&D &D type vibe from everything. Which is fine, that's fun. I dig the D&D. &D. I'm a D&D &D digger, aren't you? I've never really, I've only got to play a little bit, but I loved when I did get to play. My character was the type of character that liked to confound the DM too. I always seemed to think in ways they never expected. <laughs> Usually in annoying ways, I was a bard. And we're almost through this part. There you go, there's that, there's that. And now, here's the game. Okay, so let's get in here. Um, Mary was actually willing to play this, but I was like, uh, I should probably do it. Um, I said, at first I was like, it's probably because they probably would like me to play it, but then I'm like, but also because I want to rush through it and she'll make me stop and read everything. <laughs> I don't want to play it all night. I could be wrong, maybe it's gonna be great. It was first things first, let's see if it needs an update. Uh, hi, uh, how bad an update? <laughs> this uh, Wednesday video is destined to take me way longer than I want it to. Oh no, that, that's, oh, oh, okay. I was like, 28 minutes. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, so three minutes. I, I can, I can vamp through three minutes. Um, so how about them sports teams that do things and win awards for doing it, right? Yeah, that's that's a thing and a half. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just having fun. I've been doing a beer taste test. I'm on the third beer. I've had hot wings today. I've been making vloggy vlogs. And uh, that's a good point. Characters in Star Wars wear the same outfit every single day. Huh. That's weird. Some of them do, unless you're a lady, unless you're like royalty, because then they don't. But uh, what are we at? 33%? Okay, what other bullshit can I get on the mount? Um, RGT85 uh, cooks sometimes, and he's eating on a paper plate, so that's fine. That's what he's talking about. I don't know. Uh, Corey Barlog liked girlfriend reviews of, 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 of God of War. It's a great game. It's a great review video, too. Uh, I don't know, man. I got nothing. I got nothing. How are we doing? 53, 54%? Okay. Um, then what happened? Uh, the cats in the basement are awesome. They get to come upstairs a lot, all the time now, pretty much. Not all the time, but most of the time. So that's cool. Uh, I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of talking today. I'm about talked out. Uh, I'm ready to go watch some anime or start Harley Quinn, because we haven't actually watched that cartoon yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? At least I'm not hurrying through my work because I'm like, I need to be done before seven so Mary can watch two movies because we have this many movies in this many days. I got two weeks off from that until the Oscars are announced. Now, part of the reason we did that whole run on, on Golden Globes this year is because usually like half of the Oscars were nominated for Golden Globes. So I figure if I've already seen all the Golden Globes, I won't have as much work to do for the Oscars. <laughs> um, but I'm glad. I get to watch a lot of movies I probably would have just otherwise passed on, just not having time. And I see some really great stuff I might not have caught. Like Ma Rainey's Black Bottom was insanely great. Uh, Trial of the Chicago 7, that was my favorite. I'm glad it won. I think it won. Did it win? I don't remember. Uh, it was last night. You expect me to remember something from last night? All right, let's play this, let's play this game. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not actually crying. I'm just pretending. I'm, I'm actually slept. I slept a lot yesterday. <laughs> Come on, game. Give me content so I can say things that make people groan and roll their eyes at me. That's what I do. Welcome to Cringe Town. You know, Guy Fieri's got Flavor Town. I got Cringe Town. 
Cringe City. You want to go? Is cringe? Should we go with cr Cringe County? Welcome to Cringe County. I like that. Cringe County. That's my jam. Ooh. Maybe that's a t shirt design. <laughs> I know that's auto saving. Okay. Happy Net. Happy Net is a warm bun. Is some warm buns. Cry where? I'm not going to cry. This isn't Star Wars. Hey, we finally have a game! An hour after I was planning to start something. We also need some more. A volumito. What's in the options? Nothing of importance. New game it is! Oh boy. Oh boy. Main mode, challenge mode, tutorial mode. Oh wait, no, this is like a tactical battle. Maybe I will like this. The Legend of Runnerza. Runnerzia. Runnerzia. Mary had trouble with that too. Choose one of the six powers and reclaim pages of the Legends of blah, 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 blah. Unify the land. Okay, that's too fucking loud. Make up your mind, volume. Alternate chapter. Oh, you can't do challenge mode until you beat it. Learn about the basics of gameplay. I mean, I assume they're going to teach me that in the game. I'm going to just get into it. Y'all are here for the game, and I'll figure it out, or I won't, and I'll back out and do it over. Here we go! Oh. Differentiating two powers. Holding the ZL button. Oh, I'm supposed to read that in that short? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no! I didn't... God damn it. I just hit the wrong button. I was trying to see if there was a... Hold on. You probably... <sighs> God, I teach you. <sighs> Year 781. Five nations and one tribe plunge the land of Renez into an era of chaos. Six rulers and their rune knights throw themselves into the flames of war, each with their own hopes and expectations. You know, it's so late. I was gonna back out and restart this, but screw it. Let's just, let's just, we wanna see the gameplay, right? So I gotta choose a nation. Okay. Republic of Guacamole. Shinobi Tribe. I can pronounce that at least. Holy Gustava Empire. It looks like uh, one of the dudes from uh, Black Clover. You know's guy. Mana Sali. Silesia Theocracy, nah. United Islands of Mirilova, nah. Norilova Kingdom, that's where we started. Let's do this one, because I can pronounce it. Shinobi Tribe. That's easy. Let's do the easy one. And I'm on the switch, so I gotta remember what's what. Okay, ruler Talia. The Shinobi Tribe is ruled by women who reside in a fortified village deep in the mountains and valleys of former Hazam Nation. Their heirloom, the Brigadine of Freedom, represents the freedom these women have longed for. Talia, daughter of Ray Sal Ghul, uh, Chief Mother Dala, <laughs> fights for the future of the tribe, a future that won't be threatened by the wars of other nations. We have five bases, 12 knights, 482 mana reserve, and 30 total monsters. Fuck it, let's do it, let's confirm. Difficulty for the purposes of this game, we're gonna start on easy, so it's suitable for beginners. Enemy AI is normal and limit none. Um, so there's your other things. If you wanted to see what you get, you can set up custom rules. That's always cool. But like I said, just so we can actually hopefully progress enough in this game to give you a better sense of it. Shinobi Tribe, easy. Starting the game with Talia. Are you sure? As sure as I ever was. All right, guide will play when you take action for the first time. This can be configured to be skipped in advance. Skip this guide? I would rather not skip the guide because I did not do the tutorial. Time and religion. One season consists of one organizational phase and one attack phase. Okay. Brigadines of special armor, stone, representing the ideals of the country, the name Justice, and some other things. Rubino, Ariton, or Liz, a throne, wearer of the Brigadine of Justice, and blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Auto mode. Deep in the mountains and valleys of the former Hazam Nation lies the fortified, all-female village of the Shinobi Tribe, who wish to make Shnoo Shnoo with you. Shnoo Shnoo? Shnoo Shnoo. Shnoo Shnoo with you. 
Long ago, these women used their own form of witchcraft, known as shinobi magic, to drive away any and all men, except Eric Butts because he was pretty cool. <laughs> he watched them bathe for days, touched himself raw. <laughs> so in order to continue the legacy of the village, once a woman turns 18, she is able to bathe in the springs of the Ivory Dragon. And luckily, they are all 18 while Eric watches them bathe. Whew, dodge the bullet there! <laughs> it is by soaking in its water that the women of the Shinobi tribe are blessed with the children. Think of the children for just 15 cents a day. But on this day, Talia Al Ghul and Rash were present to give witness to the birth of a friend's child. Oh my. Just a little more, oh, Meg. Just a little more, Meg. Now you can do this. You're certain to have a strong baby girl. I'll teach her all there is to know of our craft. <laughs> Careful, Ray. She may not want to come out if she hears that you'll be her teacher. <laughs> oh, come on now. Aren't I the reason why everyone calls you the best shinobi in the village now? Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, you're also the reason that I still have the scars as a testament to my training. <laughs> it has been quite the labor, but the baby should be here any moment. Yes, but she does seem to be in a lot of pain. Mm, perhaps it would be best for her to sleep for a while. What? Hazamulzi Hazam! Shamanaka Medusa was a master of shinobi magic. This is what I was afraid of. So much reading. I just want to play a video game. As she brought her hands together to form several seals, a gentle wave of energy began to radiate. And in an instant, the pregnant Meg was asleep. The spell had made young Talia feel slightly uncomfortable, as she had the feeling that it was not entirely benign. Medusa, what was that for? Calm yourself, Talia. This is your first time assisting with a birth, correct? Yes, but I don't understand. Oh dear, it's, it's a boy, isn't it? A boy? How do you even know? The baby hasn't even been... Talia, my mother just knows. Right, mother? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's death to my ears, no! After nodding sadly to her daughter Ray, Medessa moved from Meg's side carrying a healthy baby. It would not be healthy for long. It was indeed a boy. Ooh, I feel like a radio DJ. I basically hit the post right there. That's perfect. No, no, it can't be. Talia, as the daughter of the Chief Mother Della, you know the rules better than anyone. Yes, that males are not permitted to live in this village. And so, if a male is born to one of us, he must be separated from his mother at once and sent to Fosterage. Fosterage. It is our way. Talia, take this child to the edge of the forest before Meg awakens. Meg was so excited about becoming a mother. For the women living within this fortified village, it was a cruel law. But it was also an indication of how little the women felt they could trust males. Oh, I'm, I'm getting so bored. <laughs> And again, if this is your jam, this is your jam. I'm, I'm not making fun of it. I just, for me, I'm just like. 
If I wanted to read a book, I'd be reading Star Wars The High Republic. In, <clears throat> in order to earn foreign currency, the women of Shinobi Village use their expertise in Shinobi magic to work in other nations as gods or intelligent operatives. Boop. On this particular day in the Zai, the capital city of Mana Silesia, Talia was on guard duty with Rey, whom she looked up to like a sister. Even this late in the day, the Mana Spring sure is busy. So many people. At this rate, I won't be able to go out at all tonight. And I was having such a good time with a young male from the tavern last night, too. Ray, you better be more careful. What if Chief Mother or Medessa found out about what you've been doing? Oh, poor. Don't spoil what little fun I get to have outside of the fortress village. You really should give males a try too, Talia. They're a lot more fun than the going than the going to that silly spring. That's for sure. Uh, these tra some of these translations are a bit sus. To sound like one of the cool kids. Oh, ew! I think that's enough, Ray. <laughs> 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 Would you, silly Shinobi, be quiet? That's quite rude of you, mister. And from the looks of it, you seem to be a fellow hired hand, huh? Let me guess. You're one of those Hazam males, right? Oh, so you have a problem with the Hazam. Indeed. I'm afraid I have to pass when it comes to males from Hazam. No matter how good looking they may be. Just as well that I feel the same way about you lot, then. Come again? I was trying to come again. Alright, Ray. Just give it a rest. Oh, what have we here, the ladies of Shinobi Village? I do hope Sid here hasn't said anything untowards to you. Besides his untoward language, his behavior when it comes to women is truly appalling. Isn't that right, Talia? Talia, you must be the daughter of Chief Mother Dala. Della. Oh my god, I am seriously like... Oh yes, I am. Are you acquaintances of my mother? Haha, <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm actually the leader of these mercenaries. You may call me Jose. No, I'm gonna say, you may call me Jose. And these are my pussycats. And as far as you can probably tell, I've also worked as a scout for some time now. A talent scout. Come to the back room that I have here with these walls and a black leather couch. Don't mind the cameras. We just need to show them what you're willing to do. And I wouldn't be a very good scout if I were unfamiliar with the leader of the Shinobi village. Hey, something may be happening. Probably not. Suddenly, the sound of an explosion rang through the night from behind the tower to the, of the General Zai Memorial. Uh, what was that? Oh, it's the Gustavians! It can't be! But Sid was off without another moment's hesitation. Uh, what? Oh, Jesus. I really did just totally drift out. Um, as expected of the man with instincts so sharp, he'd been given the nickname, The Wolf. Through these instincts, he had already gained information on the G Gustavian spies that had been smuggling explosives into the country. Come, Talia. We can't let this Hazam male show us up now, can we? Ray was more than eager to prove herself to that Hazam man. But that would prove to be her undoing. That night would be the last that Talia saw Ray alive. Ugh. I'm gonna take a nap. Oh my god! Oh no, I thought we had actual animation. Alright, let go of me! No! 
because the code of the shinobi tribe stated that if captured by the enemy, the women do a thing that I didn't get. Oh, Ray blew herself up. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Let's buy this. Hey, wo ageru? Talia, ittai dou yu koto desu? You wish to raise an army, Talia. What is the meaning of this? Mother. Chief mother. Oh, mother. This land of Runeja's. Kono Runeja no kuni kuni de. Samazama no koto ga okotte imasu. Oh, damn it! Seriously, how much fucking reading? Come on. Tensions between the Zai sect of Mana Silesia and the Mohan sect of Gimol are near breaking point. King Rubio III of Norzolio is dead, and now the Gustavi Gustava have marched into their territory. And then, and then, that attack by the Gustavians. If only they hadn't. I know Ray would still be with us today. Mother, if we could continue to turn a blind eye and lead our peoples to the whims of these countries, it is inevitable that we will lose more good women like Ray. Talia, even if you are her flesh and blood, you will watch your tone when speaking to the chief mother. I want to see your manager, mother. Mother, you are a coward! Talia! Talia! Well, you are! You of all people should know better than anyone! We... we just can't continue like this. And yet, I do nothing. That is what you want to say, isn't it? Oh, uh, sorry. Oh my god. Chief... Chief Mother. But I do nothing out of a desire to protect this village. You should know this, Talia. If that's true, then you're, you're no better than the men driven from the village by our ancestor matriarchs. What? Instead of standing up against the larger countries, the men of Hazam chose to bow their heads and sell their services just to survive. As a result, their freedom was stolen and the pride of the men were disgraced. And instead of taking it out on their oppressors, they came back to the village and took it out on their women. We had lost our freedom and our dignity. But that's why we created this fortress in the first place, isn't it? So that we would have the freedom to stand on. Equal ground with any other nation. The freedom? Sorry, I missed it. Mother, these enemies decide. To threaten our freedom, then I will use the Brigadine of Freedom to fight. Cool. And so, with the blessing of Chief Mother, Della Talia came to don the Brigadine of Freedom. The end. Oh, the game took years. Oh, it's not over. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Fuck you, game. Uh, fuck you, game. <sighs> then set off to conquer the world. Moved by Ray's courageous display. Oh, there we go. Josie and Sid joined Talia and Uncle Toby, a half wild bazoo, half fairy master of shinobi magic, on par with the late Ray. And lastly. Oh, Talia, I cannot bear to lost another daughter. I'm coming along whether you like it or not. Thank you, Medessa, but it's lose another daughter. Sir, <laughs> Sir Josie and Sid, I've heard that you took good care of my daughter, Ray. Madam Medessa, my only regret is that I could not do more. I know it may not be my place, but your daughter, her death, was an honorable one. 
Worthy shinobi of such a talented shinobi master. <sighs> when we hear you were raising an army, we left as soon as we could. Sid and I are at your service. Uh, much appreciated. Talia, the chief mother has requested that you keep her informed of our movements. Of course. Mother, I'm sorry for calling you a coward. Are we actually going to play a game ever? As chief, I know there were steps in this when women in position couldn't risk, but no, worry not. Just watch over me and take these steps. Uh, well then, shall we get going? Yes, let's go, everyone. Fuck me, dude. That was like 20 minutes. That was like 20 fucking minutes of just fucking still frame dialogue bullshit. We didn't even animate it. There's like, it's, ugh, so cheap. All right, gameplay and basic rules. The main mode is, well, you're not going to get a lot of gameplay because I should have been done with this video five minutes ago. The main mode is where you select a nation to play while you, yeah, okay, uh-huh. Gameplay is divided into organization phase, attack phase, invasion occurs. Uh, one season consists of one organization phase. One. So, you know, if it's snowy and you don't have food, you're less likely to survive. <sighs> During the attack phase, troops will battle to control bosses, bases. Other enemy nations will fight for, yeah. The main map shows the distribution of power by displaying the flag of the occupying nation above each base. Put the cursor, cursor <sighs> on a base to see its summary in the bottom left. Press A button for the base. Oh, okay, organization phase. Look at this. We're finally playing a game. Let's see, so how do I... I don't know, I'm just doing stuff. Summon and troop. Summon battle units to strengthen your forces and organize troops by swapping units around. Move. Move troops to other bases to prepare for the next invasion or to defend bases from enemies. Quest. You can dispatch knights out on quests. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, here, teach us everything in the beginning. Here's more reading! Some equipment can only be worn by specific units. Battlefield, check the general terrain as well as invading troops. Well, I don't, I don't know. Once you finish issuing commands for organization, attack phases, select end phases, trigger the next phase. Sure, let's just go ahead and do that. Ugh. Are you sure you want to set commands for organization phase? And attack and enter the attack phase. Yeah, sure. Why not? So tired. So the base menu's attack command lets you select attacking troops and enemy base to attack. Check the enemy base you're invading beforehand by viewing his base info. I don't wanna. Yeah, there's no troop station there. We should take that pretty easy. Yeah, sure. So, did like anything happen? Oh, more reading. Eliza, give me one. Indeed, Eliza Ursula, daughter to the current president. Do you know her, Miss Talia? Yeah, yes, actually, I happened to speak with her while on guard duty. Is there something about this Eliza you wish to tell us, uh, Sir Jose? Oh, yes, ma'am, I've heard stories of her in many countries during my work as a mercenary. For one, she wields a powerful sword. A powerful sword? I confess, I do not know the extent of its power, but it is said to have belonged to the legendary Moolang sisters. Mool. Moolang? Uh, 
Oh, uh, I gotta hit a button, huh? Hmm, if I remember my history, those are the three sisters who made a name for themselves during the Gustava incident. Yes, three beautiful female knights sounds a bit like your worst nightmare. That's not funny. Oh, ha ha ha, very well, jesting aside. I advise you to be very careful of that sword, Miss Talia. Why? The sword will test any who picks it up. What do you mean? Oh my god. If the sword detects the slightest hint of unworthiness in the person who wielding it... Who is wielding it? The sword would attack the wielder. Oh, uh, yeah. It is possible. I don't believe it. Ha ha ha, unfortunately, this... Sinister sword wasn't the only matter I wanted to speak with you about, Nostalia. I fear something dire will soon descend upon Ruzumeza. Something that would be catastrophic to all of us. I believe that it would be best to conquer all of Runerizia without delay. Is that correct, Sir Jose? You read my mind, madam. While Talia understood the significance of Jose and Medusa's words, all at the same time she could not help but recall her brief exchange with Eliza when they met in the Republic of Guacamole. Not only was she a rune knight, but she was also a top candidate for the presidency. Would she re rally and command an army of her own? Then Talia also thought of Eliza's other identity. Dude, I think I think I'm about done. I don't I don't care. I'm. S if you want to if you want to know, go buy the game yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I really hate shit like this. I mean, I've done like nothing. Done nothing in this game. Uh. Wow, I have no idea what just happened. We gained some mana, I guess, and we put some people in a... No? I don't know. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. Probably more fucking dialogue. Nope, we just went to another season. And we gained some more mana. Did we actually do anything there? I don't think we beat anybody. Yeah. All right, everybody. Every once in a while, there's a stinker. For me, this is an absolute stinker. Hopefully, you love it. Hopefully, it's a game you love, and I'm sorry I shat all over it, but nah. This is just a collector's piece for me. Um, yeah, this is a pretty massive fail. I mean, it's literally putting me to sleep. A video game should not put you to sleep, and it is putting me to sleep. So, that's it. Back to the unboxing. All right, well, hopefully that was fun. Hopefully I had fun with it, but before we get out of here, let's take a look at the soundtrack on CD. Which, hey, at least now I can put it in my computer since I finally hooked up a CD drive. It's actually a dual-layer Blu-ray drive, but, you know, burner. All right, so there it is with the plastic on. Slip through that. Tear through there. Get that out the way. Now you can see it with the plastic off, so it's a little less reflective. And there's the track listing. Lots of tracks. Two CDs. That's nice. I'm sure that's just a single insert. Yeah, there's not even printing on the back. You got that CD, folds over, you got that CD, no printing here. And that is the soundtrack, which is 
hopefully very cool. I have no idea. I know nothing about this game. You might as well call me the Jon Snow of this game because I know nothing. All right, so there you go. That is Brig Brigandine. Brigandine? The Legend of Runerzia? Runerzia, I guess? I don't know. I'm going to go play it and I'll hopefully find out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know. What do you think about this game? Is this one you wanted to grab? Did you grab it on the eShop or did you get a physical copy? Was yours damaged? Boo, I'm sorry. Let me hear your thoughts. Definitely geek out with me in the comments below. I love hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And of course, check out the join button for YouTube memberships and more video game Let's Plays if you liked this. And of course, the Patreon link, a dollar a month, extra video every day, which includes five days worth of like hour long Let's Plays like this. And of course, we have the merch store and the Discord invite app so come on over to our discord coal peeps party we'd love to have you but with all that said and done i gotta get out of here so i can go play some more games and open up some more stuff and i'll see you all later